Good morning, friends. The result season for Q1 FI24 is almost over. <clears throat> Now it is time for us to see how we have been making our purchases. Where are we committing mistakes? You know the. stock market gives the best of opportunities for almost everybody to make money but you should be willing to spend some time in assessing which company to buy how long to hold and when to sell <coughs> so this buy hold sell decisions are based on certain definite criteria if you are not accustomed to looking at uh, these criteria then you are always in for trouble of course after assessing assessing all these criteria also it is possible that you may sometimes fumble you may sometimes make a wrong purchase <coughs> but out of 10 times if you are making a right purchase uh, seven times you are still a great winner <coughs> Now let us look at uh, <coughs> the criteria. Be a long-term investor. Yeah, at least a short-term investor, not a day trader. <coughs> day traders, I am not going to address their needs in this uh, video. <coughs> Be a long-term investor, or at least uh, one year <coughs> minimum. now the first criterion that you will have to take note of is that uh, the business of the company must be known to you you must uh, uh, look at the business of the company whether you understand it whether that business of the company has got sufficient growth potential in india <coughs> or abroad if uh, exports are also possible <coughs> then know its future plans current business may be okay but unless it has got sufficient future growth plans it's not okay you must assess its future plans also <coughs> the next is once you know business business of the company and its future plans go for the last five quarters results compare them what are you going to compare See where are these five quarters results available? It is available in Money Control. It is available in Screen. dot com. It is available in uh, Economic Times. So many uh, websites are there. <coughs> Now, what are you going to see there? Sales. Whether the sales are growing during the last five quarters. If in any quarter sales have gone steeply upwards or steeply downwards, what was the reason? but generally speaking it should be going up and up and up so that's very important last five quarters results should indicate that the company is growing in sales the next parameter to see is operating profit sales minus expenses operating profit a possible operating profit margin that also should be going up sales upwards operating profit upwards profit before tax that also must be afforded the last and final and the most important one is net profit net profit should be going up in all the five quarters <coughs> please ensure that there are about 5000 companies you don't need a company which uh, goes up or down up down etc you don't need that there are many companies which are uh, uh, producing good profits almost every quarter <coughs> so then <coughs> price earnings ratio current price divided by earnings per share price divided by earnings per share now earnings per share last year's uh, closing earnings per share that is for, for the whole year you can take that otherwise take the latest quarter's earnings into four four quarters that gives you a, a definite idea of how it is going to be in the uh, current year so that is price earnings ratio price earnings ratio must be sufficiently low what is sufficiently low 10 or lower generally 
But nowadays, many people go for uh, 20, 25, 30 also. Anyway, it should not be above 50. You calculate that. Many people purchase at 50 also, 50, 60, 70 also. Don't bother. For you, 20, 25. Keep that as the limit. Then price to book value, PB ratio. PB ratio also should be very sufficiently low. Book value it depends on the assets. Assets are very low in software companies and some other such companies, service oriented companies. Whereas asset base is very high in respect of material based companies. Anyway, price to book value must be between 1 to 3. In some cases, it goes up to 10, but uh, I won't advise you to go for that. 1 to 3. The, the lower, the better price to book value. Then, another thing that you can e very easily calculate is sales to net profit margin. That is, net profit into 100 divided by sales. That should be as high as possible. Should not be low. 8. 10, so that is uh, reasonable. 15, good. 20, very good. 25, outstanding. Sales net profit uh, uh, ratio as high as possible, you select based on that. So, see the sales are increasing means net profit will be improving geometric proportion. <coughs> the next is promoter shareholding. Promoter sh shareholding also should be very decent. 50% uh, plus. But in uh, banking companies, it is around 30%, <coughs> generally speaking. Now, 50, 60, 70, uh, 75, okay. But 90, not okay again because public shareholding will be less and uh, there will be pressure on uh, prices. <coughs> so, around 70 is okay. <coughs> Then, in the shareholding, also see FIA shareholding, DIA shareholding and also mutual fund shareholding. If they also have reasonable shareholding in the company, assume that they would have assessed all these factors which now you are assessing and they are satisfied, therefore they have invested. <coughs> then, debt equity ratio. Debt and equity should be in reasonable proportion. If equity is one, debt can be one or less than one. Sometimes going up to two, no problem. But beyond that, debt equity ratio indicates that interest, interest repayment and debt repayment will be difficult. Promoters holding we have talked about. Now we will talk about promoters pledging. Promoters pledge their equity uh, quite often. Some people pledge 0.5%, 1%, 2%, 10%, uh, uh, 20%, okay. But beyond that, uh, you must assume that the promoters' uh, confidence in their company is slightly less. If their own confidence... You know, there are some people, some promoters, 70% shareholding is there. Of that, 70% pledge is there. Such companies, please avoid. <coughs> now, price momentum. Price momentum, when do you purchase? See, these are all factors to purchase. But price momentum, when the price is going up, not very steeply, but reasonably it is going up, then you should buy. Price going down, you don't know how uh, low it will go. So, when it is going down, wait until uh, the price curve again shifted up, upwards. <coughs> Till such time, you wait. Now, if you look at all these uh, 12 factors, something like that, you will be a winner. 10 out of 10 times is never possible. See, what is good today may become bad tomorrow. But 7 out of 10 also is very good. I hope you will do that. You will try in the long term. 
and become a billionaire keep the target thank you